So my small business failed and you can watch more about it here. But one of the reasons why it failed was because I had a variety of different products. I was shipping out through a variety of methods, whether that be shipping by myself, shipping through the manufacturer or shipping via print on demand. Really, I should have just narrowed it down to one way. Burnout to no surprise is very real for artists and it's not uncommon for us to feel like we need to carry the responsibilities of every step of the way when it comes to our own small businesses or brands. And looking back, if I were to do this all over again, I think I would have just leaned into one way of having my products get shipped out instead of me doing it all the time. And that would have been through print on demand. So if you don't know where to start with print on demand, my first recommendation would be the sponsor of this video, Printify. So first off, why? What is print on demand? For example, if you're working a full-time job or working at school and you don't have a lot of time to do things like shipping things out, maybe all you can do is just design products and post them online. With print on demand, the packing and shipping portion of the products are handled by another company or somebody else. And if this is your first time starting a small business or brand, I don't usually recommend for you to go all in and carry every single responsibility by yourself. As artists, you probably want to focus more on the creative aspects instead of the technical portion. So with print on demand, your art basically gets printed onto white label products. So it could be a blank t-shirt, a blank mug, a blank notebook or journal. And you don't have to worry about holding inventory, packing or shipping your items. So in case if you get no sales, it's not like you're sitting at home with a bunch of random products next to you. Your artwork will only only get printed on a product, get packed and shipped only when an order is made and this is usually done through another warehouse or facility. You can also link your products to an online shop like your Etsy, a Shopify or your TikTok shop so that when an order is made on your store, that information gets shipped to the print on demand company you're working with and they're the ones who will fulfill the rest of your order. I know a lot of artists tend to get excited about the idea of packing and shipping their orders and I feel like in the beginning it's always really fun and exciting to do so and put your own branding, packaging and love into it, which you can still find ways to do that and custom that with print on demand companies. But from my personal experience over time, that excitement feeling kind of wears off once you're into like your 20th or 50th order. That time you put into packing and shipping your items might be better off spent into ideating new products, designing them and the creative portion of it. So first off to do this, you will need an online storefront, whether it be Etsy, Shopify or a TikTok shop. And in order to have your products created via Printify, you're gonna have to connect your online shop to Printify. So you can just go under manage my stores and connect your store to Printify through that. So on Printify, you can choose from over 900 different products, which is probably going to be a world record for how many products a print on demand company can carry. And this can range from t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, stationery, home decor, and more. But I will say, despite how exciting this sounds, as an artist, I find that it's important to eventually niche down onto what you specifically want to create. Having too many random items in your shop might make the vision of your brand a little bit unclear, which may have some customers choose to go elsewhere to a shop that is more specialized in this certain thing. For example, when you walk into a stationery store, you just see notebooks, books, pens, paper goods, office supplies. And when you walk into a clothing store, you see jackets, shirts, socks, pants. So if you don't know what niche to start off with, you can actually use tools such as Everbee to see what the top trending selling products are to give you ideas and E-Rank to help you with keywords, see what potential competitors are doing and also see trending products. So if you do not have a presence online and you don't really wanna start a social media platform, these are the tools that would help you and your products stand out from the rest. So for this video today, I'm going to choose a notebook because I personally love stationery. And with this upcoming trip to Japan I have, I'm going to make it Japan themed. 
different. So when you design your product, you can keep it either as a singular image or create a pattern out of it. I would recommend keeping your initial designs simple so that you can play with the placement of them on products instead of overly investing time in something only to find out it doesn't work or print well on your item. Make sure you're designing on a file big enough to cover your product. So when uploading your design, you want to make sure it looks the way you want it to. And once you're done, you can link the product to your storefront. After that, you're gonna have to price your product. So while Printify might give suggestions, I would honestly look at artists you follow doing similar things as you and see where they price their items to fall within that same ballpark. But don't ever price your items lower than the cost to create them. Otherwise, you're just losing money. So like any other physical good, I always recommend getting a test product first so you can just see for yourself what the experience is like receiving the item in the mail and seeing it in person before publicizing it. Sometimes it just takes one bad review to negatively impact your business. So while it can be annoying and an upfront cost, it's probably going to help you in the long run. So just from my pure experience of receiving this product, I feel like it's just kind of like any other sketchbook, except you have the option to personalize it to your brand and make it yours, which obviously makes it a more exclusive item because it's not like any big company store like Target would be selling your sketchbook. I definitely think the paper is most suited for dry mediums like sketching with pen or pencil, charcoal, but I wouldn't really use watercolor or Copic markers in this, but I also didn't really expect this type of sketchbook to be that type of sketchbook. If anything, this is more so of a journal that I'm kind of choosing to use as a sketchbook. And you know, when it comes to journals, they're not really as particular about the paper, but at least it didn't bleed through. Ultimately, I feel like this sketchbook slash journal is a great base product for you to personalize with your brand. So once everything looks good, you can then just publish it on to your shop. So if you're an artist that knows you're gonna make a lot of sales, I would actually recommend getting Printify Premium because you would get 20% off the entire catalog of products you use. And if you sell enough products, you probably will be saving more money in the long run. You would also get assistance from the Printify team to help you with your orders, and you would get the ability to connect up to 10 stores. But other than that, Printify is pretty much free to use. The only time you spend money is when you actually create a product, but hey, that money is only spent when you make a sale, but even then you make profit back, so any money spent will not go to waste. So if you don't know where to start, I recommend print on demand using Printify because it's very low risk. And once you create the design, upload it and post it on your store, there's not really much else afterwards that you have to do. So check out Printify down in the links below if you want to get started on your print on demand journey. But in the meantime, if you wanna see other videos from me on how how to make money as an artist, you can check them out over here. Otherwise, thank you again to Printify for sponsoring this video and I will see you all in the next one.